Here for your bike. Let me get the gate for you. Going, Lynch man. What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Look Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Fight. Send someone out here to take a look. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Please, don't leave me. No, here. no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Freaks Lost Lake out. Please. See you, Lynch man. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. 
Ah, gente bonita. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Here. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but... The Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check mm. out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can run. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, 
Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, it looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I'm going to check something out. Come here, touch this. Come on. You... Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stop. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. <laughs> Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep. That did it.
Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the Transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines myself. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use his cap. Here, boost me up. Okay. okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on. Junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. Molotovs you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Time to burn. Ready? Oh, yeah. Burn it down. Here I come! Ready. Get in there. <sighs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, 
I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, 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 you're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep, come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, hey, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey. Hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deep on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, well, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Stay with me. Hey, I can take you. Stop. We're going to get to the camper.
Topping off. I think that's the last of them. Jesus. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm, after what they did to Dick. Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I. I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Let's 
just come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I wanna show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just wanna show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? Yeah, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, the cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Skizzle said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? ago, we were up by Crazy Willies, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. Yeah, oh, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, get? hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Oh, schizo, schizo, speaking of schizo. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, oh, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west. But they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning no another attack, so I need it. you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. Here for your bike? All right. Yeah.
O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I, I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? <laughs> I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, comm was still open before. I don't think it is my main beating top. More like an opposition. is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? What? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch her name.
booster here. Yeah. What are you doing, brother? Same as always. Still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, pass that along. Later. Sniper ambush. You! Damn it. 
Stop off the tank. I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Deke. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. This thing is completely broken. You need something? She's looking for some stuff. Good to see you. Looking for something special?
No, I'm not vouching for that. Here you go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, uh, Thanks for stopping by. A couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe uh, the hello. place wasn't picked over. Out of it. Really? Indeed. But that's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh. Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out. Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay.
Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. Son of a bitch, but you probably had that coming, yeah? I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close.
Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. You need something? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, your bike's drained, Deke. Need fuel? All right, I got you. There, good as new.
Sure. All right. See you around. Let me get the gate. Booze man, how you doing? I got work to do. <clears throat> See you later. See any weeds? Pull them out as you go. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think it, it's doing so well. I, I don't know. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Stop by, it seems. Got angry. Pressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. I'll see what I can do. I don't know. Much. I'm 
we're not turning on each other. No, I know him. Sir. Let him in. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free like Oregon. Guys, Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own! Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. You remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, the people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these no, days? No, huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <sighs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing out black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already. Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not going to have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Uh, hello. Hey, how's it going? Good one. Uh, good choice. Now that's an upgrade. Yep. Hey, see ya. Where are we going? Lucky lag, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to him. Deacon out. I thought you were going to be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. 
So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizzle, why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. The mic said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking nuts. God, I hate those little suckers. Finally agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. All of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. There. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, I can't Hey, them. hey, hey, I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push! I'm pushing, I'm pushing! There! Wedge it against that boulder. Oh, got it! There! <sighs> Looks stable to you? Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. First expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right 
behind you. Ah, shit. We're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they boarded it up. Exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You have the honors. Well, there's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Seems so bad. Shit, now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flint. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. You go left here. Got it. I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. He, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. You gotta take a closer look. What do we got? Still got this. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. <clears throat> Nothing. It's empty. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not believe me? Sure. I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Go check the other one. This way.
Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. But now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But but these are my flares, damn it! How did the Someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Guess who put that thing away? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 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 get a shot! Oh, oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Oh, hey! Come back! God damn it, Skizzo, it's huh. getting away! if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rock at him? supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need to save you. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. Rose off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. It was the Rippers, wasn't it? 
You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. You know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak likes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? hiding out there? Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Find him. What the? Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I admit. All right, uh, split up. We'll here, surround you know? him. You got it. Out and talk Put you back. Oh. You gotta stop! Oh, sister, I thought you just wanted to talk. Oh, that's, that's all I gotta say. Ah, shoot the assholes! Come on out! Oh. Oh. Ah, give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. They ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me, if Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But. A lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, 
I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't going to be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead people. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's a... Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh, he must have run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but... It... Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Here for your bike? She's looking for some stuff. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. I got you covered. I'll be here if you need me. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Oh, shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Hold on, I'll be... Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs>
All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Booze man! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Oh, no, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Whiskey. One of these uh, farmhouses. This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Boozer! Boozman! Hey, Dick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? I said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, we... Oh! Oh, the other farm. Dick, I'm, um... I, I, I went to the other farm. I'm gonna need my bike.
Okay. This is it. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come, um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just, where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a, give me a landmark or something. I already told you! Oh, oh, look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's, uh, wow, it's just, it's gone. Like, like somebody came and I don't know, just like, whoosh, swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. God. I'm walking and walking. I'm, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? That's where I'm going. Oh. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Hey, sir. Let's take a look around. Back on track. That's gotta be him. Out of your mind now. Boot prints. Bingo. I can't give him a ride without my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? Stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you to be no. doing You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it. This is how we're going out. Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. 
What did I say to you? I didn't know, well, What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were going to drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed the bottom. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was going to drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? This is how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then. Ah! Cars! Rick Cars! I see him, Boozer! Listen, goddammit, you came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I you gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke and St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The exp hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, thank you. So, oh, who... I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh,
You need something? Hey, how's life? Here to check out my shit? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Later. I worked at the Humane Society. I was small on this dog. so close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. All right, okay, let's go. I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, I, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. I heard it was rippers. Is that true? That did it to him, I mean. Yeah, it was rippers. Look, can we just... Can we not talk about it? Yep, gotcha. Okay. what you meant to me before you lost your mind and things never seem to change but they still are not the same as they were yesterday Yesterday, I wish you could see 
just what you do to me. Why don't you speak no more? And I tell you how it goes when nobody really knows just who you are today. Wait a sec, I got it. Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I want to talk about drugs. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb, unreliable, and silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Used it to help them control the masses. sticky fingers on a slice of the global pie. Once they figured out how well that shit worked, well, they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us good old American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane load. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it. Kept us complacent. Kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, Feds made millions to fund their secret operations, all while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all of that is in the past. At least, stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Marco for Radio Free Oregon. Leave the lies. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up with Addie, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and finally some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or metal tube. Scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. Can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from a construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks. but I can find something there. Boozer, you there? Yeah, they just got off work. Got this man looking at his shit. Jesus, goddamn schism. Looking into it, it takes time. Just don't get your hopes up, bro. That's all I'm saying. Out. Boozer, you up? This is Deke. Must be sleeping. Hey, you? Shit. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to wake you. Out as soon as I hit the bunk. What's going on? Just checking on you, brother. Just making sure that you didn't wander off on another midnight dance with a horde. Hey, don't worry about me. 
the sound of it, you're the one out on a joyride. Hey, I gotta get some shut eye. Talk later. Out. Wait, 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 where, where was that? Which way? 
still got this. Later.
because of these nests.
finished. Should be less freaks around here now. One of the camps can use this. Deer crossing, wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. Nice 
bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? Looking for your next easy target? I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs, strays mostly. something? 